let me set up my name uh, we should be ready in a second yep i did set up a camera this time around so i think we are ready let's do it uh, i hope this time around you are able to hear me clearly i did do some changes to mic and yep i think we are ready uh just give me a second Uh, yep 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 hello people i hope you're doing well and let's get started with this week's stream and so i'm gonna continue with this goblin oh yeah can someone give me confirmation whether they can hear me properly and uh, if the music is fine audio is good thanks for confirmation Uh, if you have any questions do drop uh, questions in chat i'll try to show you and answer anything and yep let's continue i so according to this reference i did a block out just a test and this is what i get if i follow this reference for the proportions and everything and i'm not a huge fan of this cartoony looking goblin i do like the face though i like these proportions much better i don't want to go like complete cartoony root which you can but this is what i get when i follow this reference the body proportions so i think i'm gonna stick with these proportions i'm gonna make some changes and the main reason i uh, selected this reference is for the face i actually really like the face it has that unique nose and like i want to change the eyes they're too big and i don't like them so anyway for the body i'll change the uh, proportions to uh more of a realistic kind of or maybe stylized not like very cartoony thing ah. someone says it does it looks like me maybe maybe it does <laughs> but now you can see my face so people will agree quickly i'm gonna do a post just give me a second uh, i'm making some changes okay uh let's continue with this thing then. <laughs> so after looking at it after a while i think i can make some changes to face uh, so then uh, 
Nose could, could be wider. Again, if you like, you can work with me. Uh, open up any software you like, whatever modeling, texturing, or even if you're doing anything else, you should do that. You should work with me if you like to. And if you would like to ask me anything, please do. I try to answer that. I think this is not bad like I kind of like this face especially this nose which is very unique this is the whole reason I selected this character reference for the face you have to define oh no my neck is hurting So I'm gonna do a basic uh, structure and for the muscles and for the body. I'm not going into details and I'm keeping the mesh very low. In this stage it's kind of very easier to work on the low mesh. You can make like bigger changes and easy to change I don't know if I'm allowed to say, but, but I'm saying it anyway. No sense. Switch to this reference. Again, as you can see, the polygons very low. And I'm gonna keep it this way as long as I can.
I'm gonna use damn standard now and define some of the muscle. It's like 2D drawing right now. I'm like sketching on my uh, on a clay to. Define these muscles. I'm gonna just sketch out everything and work on that. Again, use reference, always use reference. Whatever you're doing, use reference for that. questions okay oh please do like the stream and if you have any artist friends or like interested in sculpting and learning do share the stream even i'm trying to learn something here so can learn together and if you have any feedback please let me know I'm going to make some changes to face again. Excuse me. Or maybe we can change these ears. I don't know. Uh, so let me show you one thing so if i were to make some uh changes with proportion and like what i do is like if i like uh, you see this character on the stream if i want to use those proportions what i do is i take my vacuum and i'll just like well uh check the head size just like you're sketching in 2d then i'll just compare the head size with the body like we have here one two three four and half head for this character so basically what i'll do is i'll uh, duplicate the face like this and i'll make copies of the face mm, let's see one something there's a masking problem but anyway <clears throat> so right now we have six head which looks okay i guess like this and this for now <laughs> so 
Yep. Oh. I don't know if you can hear that my dog is barking out very loud. But just give me a second. Pim, 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 pim. Yep. Oh. I'm looking at some references. I did not have my symmetry on, so I'm gonna do this. Right. Okay, we'll have to delete them. It's not bad. <laughs> Good arms. Can I ask some questions? I'm using inflate brush to inflate inflate out these areas. And we'll just like etch out I'm sketching out according to these muscles as you see in this reference so what I'll do is uh, whatever the muscles you see here I will just sketch out everything like put those lines uh, on this mesh according to these muscles and on top of that I'll try to build skin which will look uh, more natural so Uh, so so you're building from inside out so you are like building from bones you can even uh, build skeleton inside if you want to 
but like basically you are building bones then like uh, as we did the pony landmarks and everything then you'll build the muzzles and top of that you build the skin so right now what i'm doing is i'm sketching out these muscles and when you're working on one part you might get lost like you can just like go on detailing one part so make sure that you're looking at the entire character all the time especially zoom out and look like uh, right now when i see from this angle it has like really clear read uh, readability i can see the structure and also keep an eye out on silhouettes uh, which we have here Can help out a lot again keep sketching out Here we have our elbow and here's the thing about elbow, elbow bone when you touch your arm you can just see this bone over here will go directly to this part here to your pinky and Say if my arm is like this and here's my thumb and it also is connected to one more bone which you see here which is like cross bone which will go to your thumb this part here and so this is the reason you get this bend over here which is this overlap over here as you see in this reference uh, so I'm pointing out on screen. Again, keep everything low. I'm gonna isolate them and work on them from every angle. Yeah, uh, while working on, make sure you're not working for, from orthographic views. Uh, make sure you're having look from all the angles. I have a lot of practice doing torsos but uh, for the longest time I have been ignoring arms and other parts of the body. This is a good time to learn even for me. Here we have a depth near this connection and this Bone is petrushing uh, coming out. The elbow is not very flat. It has two bone connection, uh, like two connection kind of thing. Where 
the this inner side is like coming out a bit and look at your own arm not this white though My dog is barking non-stop. And here as you see in the reference, it is defined by two muzzles. This part here. But we don't see them, we don't see that suppression unless you are an extreme bodybuilder. If you are looking at an extreme bodybuilder. We'll see this one. one overlap going like this, even on the most bodybuilders. We have this tendons connecting from there to there. Let's see from the front we have Give the topology uh, low and try to get all this uh, inside all the features of the muscles and all the forms try to get the wind uh, get them uh, while keeping the topology low uh, most people will subdivide or like will dynamic it on a higher uh, resolution by now you can still keep it low and work on these things which is uh, much easier I find One more thing about this is you have to keep doing it like if you want to learn uh, just watching and studying won't do it you have to keep that uh, like make that as a practice and actually work on something Now, uh, when I look at the entire character, I think the muscles are too much on the arm. I'll have to soften them out. It doesn't work well with this body. It looks good as a single thing, but it won't. It doesn't work. Uh, on this character as a whole so let's thin out this muscle spit this fine
and uh, when you are building muscles and like always uh, keep the reference inside and when you look at these muscles you can see that like they are overlapping and uh, if you see uh, this muscle here shoulder thing it's on top of this muscle which is like this is overlapping here is going inside this muscle so keep that in mind once you have those overlaps it will look much natural Just put work on the legs. How long I've been this green screen is actually uh just a curtain <laughs> which i found it takes a lot of time to set up so i think i'll take it out on next stream or something So leg, let's do the leg. It looks very complicated. Is you see in the reference? It looks complicated. Uh, but the things to keep in mind, like the major forms which you see on the legs, or uh, somewhere here. Again, I'm also learning, so make sure you do your own studies on the muscles. Mm, let's see. Mm. I think this gap is too much, obviously. Uh, uh.
So I'm trying to get this S curve here. Oh, 10 I think we started at 330 uh, let me check again yep we started at 330 we can go for one half an hour more or maybe 20 minutes I want to have a complete block out of this character today. We'll do that. let's see what we had what we have not bad not bad at all oh please like the stream like the stream and share it share it with your friends Keep on studying, keep on doing it, and you will learn. I'll try to pick up some speed here. We don't have a lot of time and I want to add feet and hands to this character. So. I don't want to do the stream on random time so I'm planning to uh, do it on Friday night and sometime on Saturday Saturday noon 
so i might pick another character for friday night or maybe i'll continue on the work wips which i have right now which are a lot or i was thinking maybe i should uh pick some character from marvel or dc so my choice choice for marvel characters or character uh or spider-man wolverine or hmm. spider-man wolverine or uh, silver surfer i think it's from uh, yeah and if i were to pick anyone from dc it would be Etrigan, of course. Etrigan and the Flash. I would like to make Flash. He's one of my favorite character from DC. Uh, next to Batman. I could pick Batman, but I'm already working on Batman and uh, Superman. So the third choice for the DC character would be maybe Wonder Woman, I don't know, maybe Wonder Woman or Cat. I haven't worked on any female characters yet. I would like to do that. Or I can continue on some of the characters which I'm currently working on. Which are Goliath, uh, Vasto Lord, Hollow Ichigo, Batman, Superman, Hellboy, I am working on a lot of things which I need to complete. And these streams are like a way to do that. I can share my process and while doing, doing so I can also work on my stuff. Just add some feet and hands. <clears throat> it's I'm planning to maybe uh, rename this channel. Uh, any suggestions are welcome. My favorite brush to pull out anything would be snake hook. Uh, my thumb. Yeah, people, this is the hand. This is the hand. No suggestions.
Do I want to take suggestions? Uh, maybe not. Maybe not from this group. Okay, there's too many such it, so I'll just do is while dynamic it maybe a little higher. Yep, this is enough. <laughs> Oh, by the way, I have some links uh, down below. So there I'm gonna put a poll what to work on next or like what to work on my second stream which would be Friday night. I don't want to continue this character on Friday night. I'll do another character. Or just focus on a study or something. Anatomy study. Because I want to learn anatomy. So... Follow me on our station and follow me on Instagram where I'll put the poll and you can vote for the character you want to see. Okay, we definitely need work here, but this will do for now. By the way, have you guys seen in Invincible? I think this is right. Invincible. It's a great show. If you haven't, I recommend I recommend it. I recommend it that you guys watch it. It's more like uh, boys. I think I want to have big forearms on this guy. Maybe something like this. Let's see how would that work. Mm. And there's one more superhero show called uh, Jupiter's Legacy, which was mm, maybe not that great. We'll make those changes later. To fit. Fit, fit.
someone says they have a lot of time to watch i'll get you a few shows to watch i mean i feel like i watched everything in quarantine i'm actually i ran out of shows to watch i am extremely bored right now So if you have any suggestions By the way I don't know what happened like after quarantine like in quarantine I can't watch any show more than two or three episodes i'll get bored of i'll get bored maybe i've been watching too much i caught up to one piece in quarantine Which are more than 900 episodes now, I believe. Dave, yep, I have. But again, I only watched few episodes of Dave maybe two or three I think we have watched everything in quarantine. No more shows. I even uh, went through Harry Potter movies and uh, Lord of the Ring movies. And I'm planning to go through Hobbit movies now. Okay, I need a I've actually uh, started watching very old shows, uh, comedy shows, which are like sitcoms. Currently, I'm watching uh, Seinfeld, uh, which is not bad, but again, uh, that's something I do when I'm working on something or... I feel like there are not enough sitcoms these days. A lot of things I dropped in quarantine. I was like following up with a lot of shows, but like I dropped it, I dropped them in quarantine. I don't know, I feel like there's no good television these days.
I was following critical role which was an insane journey but uh, on decent days I haven't been watching that maybe I watched too much after go Curbs. Maybe I'll give it a shot. I mean, I have a lot of time. I think I'll watch that. So there's this anime called Sword and Spider. It really good. I've been following that up, and there's one more anime about Sekai. Uh, which is like yeah, people dying oh, no 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 this this thing is not about people dying this thing about this guy playing a video game which is made to be very realistic and that is not bad like They are also remaking Shaman King but I haven't able to watch it for some reason I think okay we have it's a big color for everything. We have everything in place. This to be little bigger on this big Yep, yep, this is not bad. Not bad at all. So, we managed to come to this stage in two hours. I mean, it could have been a little bit faster, but... I am getting used to the stream, streaming thing. is pretty good for now i 
I don't look emo, do I? <laughs> Oh, let us save this. Yep. <clears throat> yeah. So everything is everything is in place. Uh, what do you guys think? Can we stop this here? I'm like really happy with this stage. Oh, I also played uh, Shaman King games. I love them on GBA. Yep, I think I'm happy with this goblin. 22 hours we got this block out. Uh, we will continue on this uh, live. On next stream. I'm not emo man, I'm not at all emo. Yep. What am I looking at? So this is what we have. What do you guys think? Looks good. <laughs> yeah. So we'll continue this next weekend. And uh, should I pick up something else for Friday stream if you guys want me to? Oh, wait, what do I have this open here? Oops. I, I opened Maya and I don't know. Yeah, I think we are back. <laughs> so, uh, let me open up something. yeah so uh this is what i've been working on recently so what i was doing is i was doing this clothing seams and working on something like this which was completely done and done in zbrush so I am planning out some kind of costume for the goblin. Uh, I don't want this to be a want uh, there to be a simple loin cloth for the goblin. So I'll think about it. I'll do some sketching or something. And this is a little bit of update on my Illidan character. So, uh, I don't have that right now. Okay, cool. So, if you want me to do something like this uh, for the Friday stream or something, uh, something which is like more realistic or more comical, ca comic character or which uh, which is not completely stylized. I mean, I can even do a proper anatomy study as well. 
so or maybe a something from cartoon or anime so let me know i think this is much better than looking at this goblin but uh, i think uh, the goblin came out really nice i really like it there's one more goblin just working on let me see if i can find that <laughs> yeah <laughs> so maybe i can pick up something existing or a new character uh, do let me know about that cool oh i opened maya for a reason uh, let me open it again <clears throat> So currently what I'm doing in uh, Maya Yeah So I've been Let me see that Yeah you see that uh, I've been working on this shrine which is the ENV thing I have did the entire block out for a environment scene which is based on one of the pokemon games one of the pokemon uh, area yeah so like i'm almost done with the high poly mesh which is ready to sculpt so uh what i was thinking maybe i can even sculpt this env live I mean I've done the modeling part so I need to work on these three or four parts but I've done most of this this part is sculptable so I can do is I can sculpt this as well so people want to some other music in the background look at my work man you don't need music don't focus on the music isn't what I'm saying but yeah anyway I can sculpt this online it could be fun something to think about <clears throat> okay please like the stream I think we can end this now it's been almost one hour I believe and thank you so much for joining me and I hope you like this entire setup or like if if you want me to make any changes let me know <laughs> yeah <clears throat> and people are not, not people are not subscribing come on please subscribe my goal is to take to at least 100 subscribers uh, by next month so please subscribe and like the stream yep this is a good time this is a great time to end then thank you so much i'll be stopping that now it's